Tulane University is in the city of New Orleans in Louisiana. And today I'm going to discuss with you briefly how to make the most of their latest supplement to the common application so that you can feel confident that you're doing all you possibly can to get into Tulane University. My name is Craig Meister. You can learn more about me and my college application and admissions coaching services over at collegemeister.com, which is also linked below this video. Tulane, for many years, had a number of writing opportunities, and at least one big one, where you could write an essay, I think, of 800 words, maybe at least 750. But such is the way of the world these days that writing is being de-emphasized in many, many uh, different uh, parts of our life. And Tulane has fallen victim to this trend for a variety of reasons, institutional goals, etc., uh, and so as a result, their supplement no longer includes an opportunity to say why Tulane in, let's say, 750 words or something around that number. Now their supplement at Tulane gives you a measly 250 words in order to respond to the following prompt. Describe why you are interested in joining the Tulane com community. Consider your experiences, talents, and values to illustrate what you would contribute to the Tulane community if admitted. All right, so first of all, this is not even required, but it is strongly encouraged. So if you are foolish enough not to do it, I don't know what to tell you. Do you really want to get into Tulane? I would take the time. You have only 250 words. Do it. Do do it. There are too many of you who are just rushing through or who are too cocky, and you could not get into Tulane, even if your grades and scores are wonderful, because, and maybe your common app essay is wonderful too, because you don't take the time to personalize your uh, application, particularly your, your supplement for Tulane. So definitely do it. That's a prerequisite. Point number two is I like this essay prompt a lot. I actually, even though it only gives you 250 words, I wish they gave you 500 words at least, but 250 words is sufficient in order to make a compelling final closing argument to Tulane as to why you're a great fit for Tulane and Tulane is a great fit for you. They're asking you specifically to focus in on an experience, talent, or value that you would bring to the table, even though they use them as plurals. And that's that's something that can really make a lot of students confused. They feel like, well, I got to sort of make my best case here. And so they mention three or four experiences or values in 250 words and talents. You're not going to be able to fit all that in. The resume, which we'll talk about in a minute, is where you really should talk about talents if you've demonstrated them uh, and your values, because what you've spent your time doing is an indicative, of course, of your values and your experiences, your, your talents, et cetera, all should be on the resume. What you really need to do in this short essay is point to one particular episode that is illustrative or that illustrates your the value that you or the, the talent or the, the um, character that you're going to bring to Tulane. And then relative, halfway through the body, no later, you need to transition to showing how that particular value system that you're bringing or, or characteristic or trait that you're bringing or what you've learned from that experience will inform the Tulane community and basically improve and be a net value added to the Tulane community upon your uh, matriculation as a student at Tulane. So this you have to ju jump through a couple of hoops here. You don't just have to describe uh, why you're interested in Tulane, but in fact, you don't really need to do that at all until you start showing yourself acting out your value that you choose at Tulane. So the way I would structure this basically is an intro sentence or two with a thesis where you introduce the, the big idea, i.e. the experience, talent, or value that you uh, feel like you want to really have this short essay revolve around. Then the body, you're going to show a quick story where you're demonstrating uh, or living your life out loud with that talent or that value, or maybe you're showing the experience that was trajectory setting or values confirming or clarifying for you. Halfway through the body, you're going to then sh connect the dots for the application readers over at Tulane and show how you're going to harness that value, that talent, that experience. And again, it's only one. Don't do multiple. In order to contribute to and make the most of and maybe even improve your time when you're at in, in Tulane, at Tulane, and a part of the Tulane community. Uh, so you need to give Tulane-specific details in the second half of the body 
that would really convince them that you only have eyes for Tulane and that Tulane should only have eyes for you. Even though the first few words of this prompt are described why you were interested in joining Tulane, you don't necessarily have to explicitly say, I am interested in joining Tulane because of X, Y, and Z. Instead, you could start out by saying, I really value close, close friendships or, or close relationships. Uh, and I know that my time at Tulane will allow me to continue to pursue this, uh, this interest while also uh, both inside and outside the classroom. You could literally have that be your first sentence, if that's what you were arguing. And then the body is where you're going to show once in the past a way in which you've developed and really valued close relationships. And then you're going to dovetail that halfway through the body at the latest to showing at Tulane, I will be able to do X, Y, and Z. All of those X, Y, and Z things are going to be showing you developing strong relationships and are specific to Tulane that you couldn't also say, let's say, to Emory, or you couldn't say to Miami, or you couldn't say to Wash U, or you couldn't say to Vanderbilt. Those have to be Tulane-specific uh, anecdotes that you are drawing on. Otherwise, they're going to think this is a recycled essay. And then the conclusion has to go a step beyond what you've already said, and you have to say something, anything new, that is related to what you've already written about but is not repetitive related to what you've already written about. So again, that is, I think, a really nice prompt um, but read the entire prompt. Again, it's copied and pasted below this video in the description of the video. Uh, and even though you only have 250 words, I think that if you use at least 240 of them, you're going to have enough space with which to really make a compelling final argument that you are a great fit for Tulane. Tulane is a great fit for you. They're going to be convinced that you're going to bring something to the table that most, if not all other applicants are not going to be able to bring. The more personal you get and the more you can connect the dots between your value system, your lived experience, your past life, or your life to date, and how you see specifically in showing detail your life evolving over the next four years at Tulane. I mean, one very talented way in order to conclude an essay like this, of course, would be to then make an allusion to what would happen after Tulane and how your Tulane experience will uniquely empower you to take on the world upon graduation. Uh, that's like extra credit if you can get to it, if you can be a talented enough writer to, to be efficient and concise enough with your words while still showing the detail you need to in relationship to what the prompt is asking you. That's what you would do in the conclusion. But many students are not that talented. But of course, if you work with me, I'll help you get to that point. And I really will squeeze all the blood out of the turnip that is your life to make sure that we can compel Tulane uh, to accept you which is what we all want, right? You want to get into Tulane. I wish you the very, very best of luck doing so. My next final tip is that don't miss out on the opportunity to upload an optional extracurricular resume to the Tulane supplement. Too many students skip that. They think, oh, I've already described my extracurricular activities in the activities page of the Common App. That's not true. You cannot fit into that activities page of the Common App the details that you need. Even if you've just done one extracurricular activity, the character count on the activities page is too skeletal. You should be elaborating on one or more extracurricular activities in a full-fledged extracurricular resume that you should absolutely upload to the Tulane Supplement to the Common Application for advice, specific advice, on how you can build an extraordinary extracurricular resume. I encourage you to click, click the link below in the description of this video to get to my How to Build an Extraordinary Extracurricular Resume short course. This short course will teach you in less than an hour what you need to do in order to format and produce an extracurricular resume that is differentiated in all the right ways to really sell the things that make you unique and do so in a way that will be digestible and understandable and really enjoyable for the college application readers at schools that do take full-fledged extracurricular resumes, which of course Tulane is one. Go big or go home. Don't do the minimum. Do the maximum. And we've just discussed two ways in which you can do that in order to seal the deal for yourself at Tulane. If you skip these two opportunities, I feel really bad for you because maybe you just don't really want to get into Tulane. You don't feel like you have a case to make. Maybe. I don't know. I feel bad. But I'm not a psychologist. All I can say is do it for yourself. Complete these two supplemental elements of the supplement, the two, two optional elements of the supplement. And I wish you the very, very best of luck getting into Tulane. Again, if you want to get in uh, to your dream school, hopefully Tulane, but maybe you are looking at other schools and you want more support 
through your college application process, by all means, go to my website, collegemeister.com. Otherwise, just be kind and give this video a thumbs up since you got to the end and also subscribe to my channel. I put out these videos whenever I have the time to do so. Though again, the second half of each calendar year, I'm a little bit busy helping students with their college application. So I don't always get out as many uh, of these videos as I'm inspired to just because there's only 24 hours in the day. Stay safe, stay well, and I wish you the very best of luck getting into Tulane University in New Orleans.